episode, we're gonna tear this thing apart, paint the frame, and, uh, and finish it up. Is it weird tearing it apart after you just finished it? Uh, no, not really. I was kind of anticipating this part. Um, it's coming to, you know, apart really quickly, which is how it was designed, so that's nice. It's been maybe like an hour and a half, two hours max, and we're basically at the frame, so clean it all up and get some fresh paint on it. So while we had the frame stripped down, I put it up here on the bench for the first time, uh, which was cool. And I was able to touch up the last minute welds I had uh, missed previously. And then the main reason was I was gonna do this seat uh, tilt pivot. So we did that. All we did is uh, used a door hinge. And so I welded this door hinge into the original mount while it was in place. And then to make these fit, I just used the die grinder to widen those holes so that when this comes down, it still goes through. A wing nut would be easy because then you don't have to get a wrench under there. You can just turn the wing nut, tip it up to get to the fuel and to the battery. It's done, it's back together, uh, it's all painted. So the last step is to take these tires off, put the off-road tires on and take it for another spin. This will be much better since considering there's like four inches of snow outside right now. So yeah, let's get these on there and take it outside. It sounds like I'm about ready to die because you know, I'm about ready to die. <laughs> Look what we managed to break off in here. <laughs> it's like, oh, just a few tacks ought to hold that. But when the chain is just bouncing off of it, 
No. <laughs> no. The answer is no to that. So I think we still could have some fun if we just pop the chain guard off for a minute. <laughs> chain slipping so there's no chance of like getting up to speed if there's so these have way more traction so it's just you know putting the power down like it should and the second you get too much grip or like you know up a hill or something then it just slips so maybe at this point i could even take out a link tighten that up a bit yeah other than that you know it's re really ready to shred this tensioner uh, after rallying it we did get some slack so I was able to make a smaller thinner tensioner for hair uh, on another pivot same uh, screw there and then I for rigidity because this was flexing when you'd be under load just put this little piece here that bolts to the frame so now it's nice and sturdy you can pick it up by that if you wanted and then back here this one started slipping as we were rallying it so uh, we debated going back and forth if it needed detention or not, but I didn't want to have to come back in here So I made uh, same setup as there just a pivot with a little um, Screw on the bottom and a lock nut and that will be able to pivot up and then this will just weld right to the frame and We will be a hundred and ten percent ready for Edwin to send this thing off a jump You after I weld this in it will just be putting the body back on and uh, and doing the lights But he could jump it before the lights get here. <laughs> All right, I'm bringing my helmet tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. This is how it works. If you build something, you gotta let someone else break it. <laughs> that's, that's how it works at Grind Art, apparently. My goal is to jump it as far as possible without breaking it, and I'm also gonna try to wheelie up this hill. Okay, so that's I'm a good goal. Sure we'll get enough grip today to just, you know, get the front end up in the air. <laughs> Let's kind of do it, dude. This video is brought to you by Blinkist. Now, a lot of us are really busy, and we don't have time to sit down and dive in to a nonfiction book. Well, that's where Blinkist comes in with a huge hand to help. Blinkist takes books and podcasts, breaks them into really easily digestible 15, 20 minute segments that you can listen to or read. So for me, I can listen to a whole book on the way to Ethan's house, get learnt, <laughs> build some stuff, and read another book on the way home. Blinkist has over 3,000 books already put into this easily digestible format and they have over 14 million people using their service. So you know it's working for a lot of people. And the first hundred of you guys to click our link in the description not only get a first week of an unlimited account for free, we also have the option to pay for the full year for 25% off. So this is a really good deal. Go ahead, click it now, and get reading some really good, really useful information in a really quick and easy format that might just improve your life. Thanks. So my bet is that it will last about one jump. <laughs> Has never built for jumps, but you know, he was down to do it. And uh, Ethan, to quote Ethan, he said, yeah, you could take one for the team, Ed. <laughs> so 
Now that the chains are tension, it feels so good. Does it? Like I jumped. I was going so fast in second gear down the driveway. I got all four tires off the ground and I still felt in control. Yeah, you're dragging your little uh, button thing. In fact, at one point, it made a sound. Uh-oh. I heard, heard it making a sound. Just put that in your pocket or something. <laughs> Let's do it. A decent, uh, a decent distance. I think but I'm gonna hit it in second. I'll hit the knuckle. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit right the knuckle. What'd you say? Oh, that just changed my spine forever. Oh, dude, you literally. <laughs> Bounced off of uh, the flat there, kind right of. On the knuckle, right? Right before the knuckle, you bounced and then landed on the knuckle. Full throttle in second is knuckle, so. <laughs> you need third <laughs> gear. Third. Halfway through third, dude. I can't believe you sent it that hard. That looked painful for sure. You built this good though. It, what was it? Uh, Ethan says it's a backyotomy, <laughs> and you need one of those now. Yeah. But it looks like it's taken it and nothing's so bent it's touching yet. So I'm gonna say he doesn't make it even close, but let's see what happens. Oh! Oh! That was basically it. I mean, <laughs> not sure what happened there at the end. All of a sudden I got traction and I almost flipped it over backwards. <laughs> So I guess uh, despite almost slipping it and doing the little wheelie situation here, he's still gonna give it another try. There it is. Oh, shoot. I thought he was going down for sure there. The victory drift almost went south. That was awesome. <laughs> I almost rolled down sideways trying to do that victory donut. <laughs> Bjorn's excited for you. Oh, you did good. It's really fun. 